gonna talk about Uber and Lyft's really bad pay structure. Back in the day when a lot of us started driving, Uber and Lyft said that they would take 20% of what they charged the passengers. However, since then, they've slowly been chipping that down. They changed it to 25 and now it's basically random. Now what they do is when a passenger requests a ride, they give a fair estimate. This estimate is not necessarily based on the best route, and it definitely seems that they increase that number so that they can get more. Now the actual route taken might be faster with fewer miles, but they still charge the rider the same number that they estimated. What you might not realize is that they only pay the driver for what the driver actually did, so the actual time and the actual distance. Although this sounds fair, that means that all that extra from what they estimated versus the reality goes to Uber. There are a couple of times when Uber loses money on this, but much more commonly, drivers show evidence of Uber taking 40 and sometimes even above 50%. Uber should not be making more money than the people who are doing the work. If you're a driver and you want to look at this and check your own, go into a specific ride and then go to fare details. It's very important that you go into fare details at the bottom because the initial screen hides what they actually do. Although your base fare, distance, and time should be accurate, any additional that they charge the rider, you're not going to see. This is really bad because it cuts into driver's tips, it cuts into how many rides people want to take, and it's just a huge jerk move. I posted a few links in the description about a couple lawsuits that might be happening as well as information on this in general. But of course, as always, keep in mind that this is the contract you agreed to. Notable is that Lyft does appear to be doing the same thing. Although it's harder to prove because they don't give you the fair details view that Uber does, a lot of drivers have reported that they asked their passengers how much they paid and they've seen the discrepancy firsthand. I haven't done that because I'm not very comfortable asking someone how much they paid, but it doesn't surprise me at all. We used to be able to see more information on Lyft and now we can't. It does appear that Lyft is doing less of the shady business. So I still prefer Lyft because I still get more on drives. But just remember that if you're a rider, tip your driver. And if you're a driver, good luck. As always, I hope this was helpful, even though it's definitely not news you want to know. But if that doesn't discourage you and you want to sign up to be a driver, links in the description.